to get it started. Always one of the best places to watch a college football game. The Horseshoe in Columbus, Ohio. Johnny Dixon, two and a half yards deep. Out he comes. Despite the advice from his teammate, he brings it out of the end zone with flags down. Dixon with a good return, a little high step as he gets to the edge. And out of bounds at the 30. Two fouls on the play, both against the receiving team. Holding. Receiving team number 24. That penalty is declined. Holding. Return team number 19. That penalty is accepted. Half the distance to the goal. First down to 10, Ohio State. For guy just at the beginning of his starting career. Here's Dobbins to start, and Dobbins upended at the 11 yard. In control of that defense. Here's Campbell on the swing. Got a block from Mack on the edge. Breaks the tackle. And Paris Campbell with speed. Nudged out of bounds by Teamer, just shy of midfield. Dobbins on first down, and Dobbins to the 49, a pickup of five. Second and five, pressure coming, Haskins able to get away, and Haskins gets positive yardage on what was a negative play. Tight ends to the right of Haskins. Dixon in motion, they fake the give to Dixon, Dobbins the carry on third and short, and on third and one just nudges it across the 44 to get the first down. The more athletic guys. Haskins, protection again, finds Dixon at the 40. Dixon able to break one tackle, can't slip the teamer tackle at the third. On second and three, good protection again for Haskins. K.J. Hill with a grab, first down to the 19. Great release. On first down, Dobbins plowing up the middle. To the 14-yard line, Robert Kennedy, all 6-1. Day does a great job of keeping you off balance. He mixes in the throws, the intermediate, the deep stuff, and the run game exceptionally well. Haskins protection again. Over the middle for the end zone. Juggling catch, Paris Campbell. Buckeye touchdown. Seven nothing Buckeyes, just like the Buckeyes did as Haskins finds Paris Campbell for the second time this year. Took a little bit of hand-eye dexterity, but Campbell able to pull it in. Fair catch called for on the kickoff with the new rules. That comes out to the 25-yard line. Let's go back to that touchdown. Haskins to Campbell to get the Buckeyes. There's a lot of things that you're going to see the touchdown about. The reasons are why. Here's the first one. It's the protection you're going to see. And then I want you to watch Paris Campbell, and he runs his route. There's two ways to use speed. One is vertical. One is across the field. So what Campbell does here, watch this move on the top. He sticks it. Now use your speed. Now, Deion Lewis, that's pretty darn good coverage, and the ball was on first down. Banks on the keep, and Banks buried in the backfield by... Prior to the five-yard loss on that carry, and it's second and 15. And on second down, looking for running, a big stiff off for Bradwell, and Bradwell out to the 32 at 12-yard. Third and three, 32-yard line. Four-man pressure, Banks throws a little bit behind the intended receiver, Ankalad. Coverage ugly for too late. Ryan Wright to punt. K.J. Hill at the 26th. Did not call for the fair catch. Reverses his field. Has a block. Hill across the 40 and upended at the 44. I'll give you two guesses. Both of them include me. <laughs> <laughs> On first down, it's Weber with the carry. And Weber, I'm not going to find much running room out there. Haskins going up top for Mack. And there's the flag. Austin Mack. Actually, that was pretty good. Defense, number 26. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. That's Barry in motion. That's Weber with the carry. Nice little pop over the blocker. And Weber dodges out of bounds after a nine-yard game. They, they got great toughness. Swing pass Hill with a nice catch on the fingertips. And able to get it to the 30-yard line to get the first down. Weber again. 
Don't want to go this time. Well defended by Tulane. That's Cameron's sample. But keep this team more lateral, and and uh, and your chances of doing having success are better. Second and eleven. Haskins in trouble. Gets a couple to the starts. Swing pass to Campbell on third down. Good block from McLaurin. Campbell down the sideline and knocked out inside the 10. You said it, Campbell. First and goal to 10. Weber bouncing outside. Weber to the five. A flag down behind the play. May Holding. Offense. Number 66. 10 yard penalty. First down. Anybody? No. No. I, I would, that'd be illegal. Yep. <laughs> First to goal to 17. Haskins with time over the middle. McLaurin touchdown. A bullet from Haskins to McLaurin. Already the fourth touchdown catch of the year for McLaurin. And a 14-0 lead. Boys in college football, one of the best atmospheres in the land. And the fair catch out to the 25-yard line. Here to greet him on the field afterwards. Well, and you know who's going to be a head coach somewhere soon, and that's Ryan Day. Really, really sharp coach. And the slide. A great game he had last week against TCU. Second down and four. This is Hutterson. Chase Young on the stop of the 33. On third down and two, there's the option play. Banks with the keep. And Banks has the first down to the 36-yard line. They like his feet. Oh, and yeah. they like the running back. Good speed. Get him in space. Former Texas State champion sprinter off play action. Quick toss, and there's the top receiver on this two-lane squad. They will be in Columbus two weeks out. First and ten from the 49. Banks on the roll, looking to the sideline. That pass incomplete. A lot of, a lot of three steps. The fourth running back of the drive on the field, Amari Jones off the play fake, and the intended pass to Ankala. Now there's a flag down. Look at side. Defense number 86. Five yard penalty. Second down. Ray Jones in the Wildcat. The Wild Wave taking the snap. That's the triple option right there. And Jones gets oh. thrilled by nice. Isaiah Pryor. Drove right us in that other safety spot opposite Jordan Fuller. It's a good start. Third and six. Banks on the roll in trouble. And Banks is set. It's Baron Browning with his first sack of the year. Ball out of bounds and avoid the man assignment football. The pressure on that punt. Fair catch signaled and made by Hill inside the 10 yard line. And that was one that hasn't been there yet, but will be. On first down, little jump cut by Dobbins to get yardage out to the. Can look over and get a call or get a confirmation without any hesitation. He said, I like the angle calling it from down there. I was surprised by that. Dobbins working up the sideline of first down to the twice. Harris Campbell on the sweep. And Campbell caught. Being a head coach is not being a position coach. It's not X's and O's. It's, it's really a CEO. It's, you have to be able to have everybody. You really coach the coaches. That's what you do. Here's Dobbins. Good cut back. Steps through a tackle and tripped up as he gets to the 40 and day has done to start off this season. So he's a detail foul. Face mask. Face mask. Defense. Defense. Number 35. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. That's Lawrence. For your players, you get a feel, you can hear the conversations. You're around them and they know the guy they're playing against, if they can handle things that they can handle them. And you take that as a play caller and it becomes another piece of the puzzle when you're making those calls. Haskins, good protection again. First room. Somebody with good speed coming all the way across underneath. Haskins looked at the swing, wanted to go back for a screen, but that was red. He'll just dump that one away, incomplete, and there's a flag. Now, the screen was red. It was on the team, one against each team. Intentional grounding, offense number seven. Though he was out of the tackle box, the ball did not get back to the line of scrimmage. Good call. Holding defense number 35. Those penalties offset. Second down. So it's second down and 10 at the 37. Good protection again. Haskins going up top. He's got Campbell. And Campbell pulls it in. Did he get the foot down? He did. Touchdown. Did he have control?
that's what you have to have. And then get one touchdown pass of 30 yards or more this year for Haskins. Second drive of 90 yards or more in the first quarter for Ohio. Fair. Holding will have to have both Kicking feet team in. number 13. Ten yard penalty. Replay the try. Extra point is good. And it's 21-0 Ohio State. Not exactly verbatim what was said. I'm thinking verbatim. That's what I'm thinking. Let's check in in Chicago with a little bit of a crease and a broken tackle, and that's a first down for Darius Bradwell. Up the middle of one of Larry Johnson's young players. Got a little shorthanded today along that defensive line. No Nick Bosa, no Robert Landers today. He came up with a minor injury and is out for the game. Movement up front, flag comes in, free play. Banks trying to take advantage, one-on-one -on -one coverage on the sideline, oh, intercepted by Okuda. Great close by Okuda. Kevin, you, Off receiver side. does. Defense, number nine, five-yard penalty, first down. That is A plus. Banks on the keep. He's got the first down. Turf trips him up at the 39-yard line. Prep can't beat him. A low snap. Banks is in trouble, and he's buried. Boy, no chance at all. Jonathan Cooper. Second and 17 at the 46. Pressure coming, and good coverage, but there's a flag. Yeah, Damon yeah, yeah. Arnett yeah. had a hold of Ankalad. Defense number three. The ball will be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. Motion from Will Wallace, freshman tight end. And flags fly, play clock down to zero. What they wanted to do defensively, Ohio State is loaded with talent. They may be one of three or four teams in the country that could withstand a loss like that over the course of the long haul. That's not to say they will time. Second down, 15. Off play action, bodies flying all over the place. Banks able to break free and just tripped up at the 39 by Tommy Togia. They'll need to master that. Third and seven. Banks going up top. One on one coverage. It is caught and down to the one yard line. Ankalad working against Oak. Hopefully they learn from them and you grow. First and goal at the one. Banks. Oh. Trying to drive through, but he's not going to drive through Baron Browning. Who drew the red zone. And on second and goal, looking for running room up the middle, reaching across the goal line. Bradwell with a touchdown. Came back last week at 90 yards in the loss to UAB, and the extra point's no good. That, that could have been blocked by the center's rear end. <laughs> McCall from the goal line. Demario McCall looking for a little crease. Flags and hats both on the ground. Well, Kev, what happened? Offside from the kicking team. Number nine, no, correction, number 38. Holding on the return team. Number 19. The penalty's offset. Will we re kick the ball? Well, while they line up this. I'd steal that watch. <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> That's a live ball picked up on a bounce at the 25-yard line, trying to find a little bit of running room is C.J. Saunders, and he's down at the 34. I never, I never play was over. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Return team number 81. 15-yard penalty. First down and 10, Ohio State. His veins is just normalizing his temperature, which is so <laughs> red hot from his arm. Very well could be. Rounds. Second and eight at the 21. Haskins with time again. Hill on the cross. Hill across the 30 and down at the 34 with a first down. 13 yards on the guys. And there, Haskins is sitting back there, not even getting sniffed. Tyrese Barge was showing a little bit of a blitz as Haskins crept up to the line. Looks like he's coming to the bottom of the screen. They'll go the other direction to Weber. And Weber with a first down and a pickup of 10. There may change. Maybe Dwayne Haskins the way he started the year. It's not, though. 
answer coming up. First and 10 at the 44. Weber, patient to the edge, nudged out at the 40. Aggravation of what was bothering him pregame. All right, Rick, thanks very much. Good eyes in the pregame. As Dobbins will take over, reversing his field and upended at the 44. From the 44, here's Campbell. Got a block from Victor. Broken tackle. Campbell with extra yardage. He's down at the 30. University of Houston. Down the sideline. Victor wide open. He'll walk in for six. Low coverage. Get some help from the stands. Oh, nice. I like that. Go pulse are off, sir. Yeah, get him over there a little bit. Oh, he was right. Look at that. Right down the middle. It was good through both of them. <laughs> 20. Harris Campbell. Ripping away. Timeout. That next play. Benjamin Victor. Nobody's going to rip his jersey because no one touched him into the end zone. Campbell. They just used that to their advantage. Fair catch called for and made again by Tulane out to the 20 feet in that yeah, scenario. Yeah, one of them. Askins was the beneficiary. Bradwell to the 30. The disparity between the talent levels on each team. This is expected of Ohio State. They sh this is what they should be doing. Ancalot back on the field in motion. On the swing, Ancalot going nowhere. Jordan Fuller read that beautifully. A loss of one. Back Third and six at the 29. And flags fly. Third and 11 coming up. <laughs> and now movement up front. Again. False start. Offense number 52. Five yard penalty. Third down. That's third and 16. And nothing doing. Draymond Jones, who had such a huge game against TCU. Ohio State. Pressure coming. Got rid of it. KJ Hill at the 39. And Hill not going too far. Good coverage downfield by Tulane. Just for the Buckeyes, it's Tate Martell. And Martell with a hole. Martell up under at the 40 yard line. Take Martell into this one. One team he can pick up where he left off. Dobbins trying to fight for yardage. Gets a couple to the 38 on that first carry, but Take Martell's short area quickness is just off the charts. Pressure's coming. Unloaded it to Hill. KJ Hill stepping through a tackle and out of bounds at the 15. 23 more. Perfect throw. From the 14 on play action, Martell floating it for Mack. Almost intercepted one arm by Keyes. Looking for Austin. What a slacker. <laughs> Jeremy Ruckert, the freshman tight end, was in motion. Dobbins turns up field and down to the eight yard line. That was, that's, that's what you like to see. Third and four. Dobbins again. Dobbins dives. Touchdown. Center just put, put somebody on his back. Dobbins finishing it off with the eight-yard touchdown run. A flag is down on the extra. Kicking team number 13. 10-yard penalty. Replay the try. Got a block of iron walking around. For Penn State, likely will take advantage of that opportunity. Fair catch again for Tulane. Jones on the sweep. And nowhere to go. Bradwell took the 11. <laughs> Banks, the option pitch to the edge. It just tripped up his... Onk, the kid playing time today. Third and four, the 31, and into the backfield is Devon Hamilton. Dauphine had nowhere to go. Johnson again. It's just well done. So instead of keeping on going sideways, you go sideways, and then you gain ground. Haskins back out there and going to work in the two-minute drill. 
to the sideline for Austin Mack, who's out of bounds. Big catches later in the game. First down and 10 at the 45-yard line. Swing pass again. Dobbins out of bounds after for the Buckeyes. And he said, I always tell him he should run for office someday. He's just that kind of guy. And there's Mack with his second catch of the possession. And that's a first down to the 45-yard line. But Mack came back to it and made the completion. First down, Campbell with the catch. Good job by C.J. Sanchez. Emptying out the backfield with a bear to the bottom of the screen. And a timeout taken by Tulane. They work. That's, that's important to learn. Second down and three. Askins pressured late from Patrick Johnston. And that forced instead of drums, third and three. Oh, 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 man, I got to show you something. Haskins is stopped short of the first down at the 39. It's good. It's this thing right here. Watch Isaiah Prince. He's going to take on this guy. Okay, here we come. Boom. Just and then I'll spike you on top of it. That is that is some good physical football. There's only one thing you can do as a defender, and that's get up and go drill him. <laughs> yeah, he fourth and four. Buckeyes will go for it. 125 and counting to play in this first half. Haskins. Oh, kid walking if he wanted to. Caught at the 30-yard line. First down, Benjamin Victor. On first down, the hurry up. Haskins a little bit too tall. Pressure came again on Dwayne Haskins, 22. 274 yards, four touchdowns. In the first half. In the first half, and he didn't play a series. Second down, Haskins on the move, throws. Campbell, a little pitter pat on the sidelines. Eighth catch in this first half for Paris Campbell for 147 yards. Askins to Mack in the end zone. Touchdown! Number five for number seven. Askins. Extra point. Good. And I thought it was awesome. Turned out to be the case as the kickoff will go into the end zone for the from the 25 on first down and down is expects to see a lot of Friday and Tyreek Smith in the second half along that defensive line banks on the key and banks run out of bounds at the 42 yard line is left in this first half Dauphine men dropped final play of a dominant first half for the home the team the first quarter the first half see him right away as Tulane will start with the football in this second half. And it was a fair catch called for. You can't advance it. But now they're starting at the nine. As he fielded it, he had a knee down. So not the fair catch, but the knee. And Banks is going the wrong direction. Buried back near the two by Cornell. Second and 17. Banks on the keep. Good job by Banks with the fake. And Banks gets it out. Larry could be a head coach. Coaches and terrific position coaches for a long time. Good throw and good catch. McMillan left LSU after former Buckeye quarterback Joe Burrow won the quarterback competition for the Tigers. Hutterson trying to find second and seven at the 24. Play action. Pressure coming. He's in trouble. And he's sacked. Wint and Booker combine on the... McMillan in trouble again, and McMillan buried by Dante Booker. Back-to-back -back terrific play. It's a big stressor that he had for us when he was talking with us. C.J. Saunders awaiting the punt. From the 49, Saunders down at the 40. The play was over. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Return team. 
check. Number 47. 15 yard penalty. First down and 10. Take Martell out for his second series of the game. Mario McCall with the carry. And McCall got hit hard at the 45 yard. Martell on the key. And Martell a little tossed to CJ Saunders. And so even push. That's what we'll go with. An even push. Yeah, kind of like that lunch they had here oh. at halftime. I spoke too soon. He came across the line of the scrimmage right. and then back up. Under further review. And then, in the words of the old master, I see voice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, probably. See, it's a little deceptive because he tails off back. He comes back. What are you seeing here, Dean? After review, the ruling on the field of a completed yeah. forward pass is confirmed. Second down. Ah, completed okay. forward pass. So it's going to be tough. All right, Dean, thanks so much. So it's second and seven. C.J. Saunders on the edge. Good tackle made in St. Martell, quarterback. Third and four at the 39 and a stoppage in play and a penalty down. Ball start. Offense. Third and nine. Martell in trouble. Martell is sacked. Cameron and his coaching staff been wanting to build. They like the pieces back there, but there's some real young guys out there. Fair catch made at the 10 by Jacob Robertson Jr. Player here at Ohio State having her, I guess you could call it a bridal shower in the parking lot. She and Wes will be getting married in November. Fruit as soon as I get home. As she should. <laughs> Second and five, Banks back in a quarterback, finds his leading target, Darnell Mooney. Side hip, and it's a good throw. Jonathan Banks with Mooney in motion. Protection, looking deep. Down the sideline, Okuda nearly with an acrobatic pick. Tolls the... You pointed out last time, yep. he didn't on the play that was caught at the one-yard line. Banks in trouble. Banks is dropped. It's Hilliard with the tackle. 17 at the 24. Pressure coming. Banks in trouble. Banks is set. And it's the freshman Tyler Friday. Tyreek Smith, he said, these young ends don't know what they don't know yet. Yeah. CJ Saunders down at the 48. Martell on the keep on first down. Martell, a lot of running and not a lot to shoot. These young guys do. Second and seven. Protection. Swings it to McCall. One on one on the outside. Oh, nice. nice move by Demario McCall. Oh my goodness, did Will Harper end third down and six. Ball motioning out to the bottom of the screen. Olave to the top of the screen. Martell under backside pressure. Martell set. Ball came out. Martell fell on it. Patrick Johnson with the sack. And Ohio State will have to punt it away. To so that second team, a true freshman. High school just a few months ago. That'll bounce at the five. And that's an excellent punt down inside the five. At the one. They'll mark it. Banks from the end zone on the roll. Throws it short and incomplete. Antoine Jackson out there in the middle of that defensive line. High snap. Banks quick toss. Deflected. It went off three Buckeyes. Now the ball's out. There's been no ruling yet. It was in the hands of Ankalad. And are they going to rule it a catch? An incompletion, a fumble, a first down. Williamson had a chance at it not once but twice. Jawson Wint had a shot at it. And then somewhere Ankalad in the whole mix just comes running in and makes the catch. Yeah. Tough snap to handle, able to get it into the hands of Hutterson, and Hutterson, a... he is going to be good. Greg Schiano described him yesterday as Buck Strong. Yeah. Uh, 
Third down and five. Ancelot in motion. Banks will roll that direction looking for Ancelot who makes the catch and leans the ball forward for the players who can make plays. He's one of them. Play action. Little pump looking deep down the sideline. It is Mooney who makes the catch. And Mooney's got a first down inside the bottom. A 39er allowed today. Corey Dauphine Hunt. This is Jones. And Jones is down at the 26. And that will be the final play of quarter number three in Columbus. A stalemate in the third. Nobody scored. <laughs> Literally off Brutus. <laughs> Uh, there's a meat streak in you. Who knew? Third and seven. Pressure coming. Flag is down. Banks reversing his field. He's going to have the first down, and he's out of bounds at the 11-yard line. If it hold holding, offense, number 64, 10-yard penalty, third down. And then focus on conference play, which is coming up for too late next week. Just doesn't have enough playmakers. Third and 17, Banks on the roll, cannot find. Our producer, Bart Fox. The director, Phil Malika, is he's no help either. <laughs> <laughs> now, next week, they go to Happy Valley with Penn State, and that, that'll be interesting. I, I believe that this Ohio State team is actually more talented than the, than the Penn State team. Very high level. Trace McSorley and Dwayne Haskins. I can't wait. That's going to be a fun game. Yeah, it will. Here's Martell. Little sprint out. C.J. Saunders with the catch. And Saunders starting to play some pretty darn good football. That defense they have can run. But well, we saw them last week. We saw it again right out of the gates today in their game against Nebraska. Here in college football. And they have multiple pass yes. rushers. Martell on the sprint out, a little skip to Saunders. That the play wasn't, they weren't uh, gap disciplined enough. And it showed. The second half, they tightened it up. And they're going to have to be tight all game long against this Ohio State team. Third and five of the 48. 12-20 to go, 42 to six Ohio State. Martell, Prater with a catch, and a first down to the 30. Finally, an update on Mike Weber. While he will not be needed for the rest of this game, likely would have been kept out anyway. He's back on the Ohio State sideline in street shoes and without his helmet. Sometimes it shows up and they do compete. And some guys are just better practice players than game day players. But his practices aren't as good as his production in games. Yeah, that's usually rare. Usually why, why that happens is just not a lot of effort. But you could you can see it. if it shows up on Saturdays, you can take that to the bank. If it shows up on Wednesdays and Thursdays, but not Saturdays, yeah, it's called a backup. <laughs> yeah, probably not ideal, unless you play a lot of Wednesday Thursday games. <laughs> yeah. Master Teague stacked up at the third experience. Fourth down at six. Buckeyes will go as we slide under ten minutes to go. Fourth down, Martell has time, and a first down up the sidelines and out of bounds. Because, you know, what appears to be what you're going to block sometimes disappears like you saw there, and then you go to the next man. On first down, Master T with a carry. Or, or taller yeah. for Ohio State. And athletic. And that's Big and athletic. Yeah. And, and they're 300-pounders, so it's not like they're sticks. Second and five, Martell in trouble. Martell able to scramble to the 18. Well, and with the tempo they play, that's the kind of offensive lineman they're looking for. Big athletic guys who can keep that tempo up. Keen of this drive on fourth down, trying to find a little running room. McCall pushing, and I think he's short. Left or right foot, depending. Here's a guy. I believe we should go back to the tearaway jerseys in college football. No, they were terrible. I'd use stick them. <laughs> Heck, that's Judge Hayes. <laughs> Looking for yardage to the 25 and stop there, Keanu. Ohio State, the Ohio State team is a better team now than when they started at the beginning of the season. 
I think Penn State has gotten better than where they were at the beginning of the season. I think Michigan is better. I think if they played that Notre Dame game again, the outcome would be different. From the 25, turning upfield, there's Dauphine with the speed, and now the sprinter getting loose. And Dauphine just tripped up before he could break. Dauphine breaks the Hilliard tackle and is down to the long time, but three plays of 30 yards or more going to draw the ire of a head coach who was very concerned about big plays coming in. Paul went very quiet. Third and seven. McMillan. McMullen looking for a little room and he's caught at the 35. It out. This week he came back. With a ready to roll, yep. On fourth down and a good tackle. Robertson could not get away from Jawson Wynn, who stopped. Back out at quarterback, 332 to go from the 30-yard line of first down. Martell looking deep. Had a man open for just a moment, but Jalen Harris. Second down and 10 at the 30-yard line. Martell looking to the sideline. Olave coming back for it. And Olave with a first down smooth. to the 44. At his same high school, one of the coaches said, you might want to take a look at this guy. They took a look at him. He ended up a Buckeye. Martell back and forth, zigging and zagging to the 49-yard line. He yards. He has 21 yards rushing. Martell under pressure, able to get away. And then a little sidearm, looking for his freshman tight end, Jeremy. Third down and five for the Buckeyes. Martell, quick toss, McCall. Demario McCall to the 20. And McCall down at the 15-yard line. From the 16 on first down, McCall again. Breaks the tackle, McCall to the 10. McCall to the 5. Stopped at the one. Martell gives to McCall. He jumped too early and he stopped at the one. Oh, Martell on the fake and he will high step in for six. Of course, already one conference game under the belt with a win over Rutgers a couple of weeks ago. Score Martell flying high. With Rucker, I'm saying that the big head is probably preventing a proper push-up. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. It's like we're in the warm-ups all over again. Amari Moore is debuting this fall on BTN. <laughs> it's 49 to 6, people. Ooh, from the 25, Dolphin almost set last year against UNLV. Jared Bertrand on the care of that will likely wrap it up. Only seven points scored between the two teams in the second half. But the Buckeyes now 4-0. And, oh, and Penn State looming next week in one of the big early season showdowns in the Big Ten Conference.